Hi everyone, we are here in London and we are here with the lovely Mahmoud. Hi, um, hi everyone. How are you? I'm uh, really fine, yeah. We're back again in London, it's been like what, nearly four or five months since you were here in London? <laughs> but, but I love London because it's, um, uh, I, I like the city, the, the streets now, the houses, because it's, it's uh, quite different now from Milan, you know, the style yes. of the city. And uh, yesterday was uh, a bomb, literally a bomb. And I'm uh, so ready for tonight too. So. I get it. So can I just ask, how has your life been since you've participated at the Eurovision Song Contest? Uh, my life uh, uh, this year, um, I had a, a big change now, you know, thanks also to Sarimo Festival and Eurovision. Uh, after Euro Eurovision, um, I um, had the possibility to to um, uh, made my music listen uh, in all of Europe, you know, mm -hmm. because uh, that was my, one of my biggest dream. But um, for me, what was uh, no, uh, impossible to yes. yeah, achieve these uh, results, you know, and I'm so happy about that. Right, funny you should mention that that you were um, able to uh, let Soldi reach to a wider audience because it's now the most streamed um, Eurovision track on Spotify. Yeah, so, yeah. did you ever think that this was going to be possible in such a short uh, space of time? No. <laughs> no, no. And what was your reaction when you found out that it overtook like Euphoria? And yeah, you know, my, my reaction was uh, um, the, the, the same reaction, you know, my reaction are a little bit. Um, big you know and uh, visible to to people but uh, um, no yeah I was really happy about the, the, the results and uh, I think that um, because I, I'm already thinking uh, about what I'm going to do you now what's next yeah because I'm uh, always focused on, uh, on the future on my new music you know yeah so yeah funny you should talk about the future because since the contest you've actually released a new single you mm. released Fario. Fario. Are you just able to just tell us what the song is about and how did you, how did the creative process, or how did the creative process went for the yeah. song? Hello, uh, Barrio uh, theme is uh, love is in the suburbs, you know, and um, I created Barrio with uh, Dardas and Charlie Charles. Mm -hmm. There are two uh, really uh, good Italian producers, you know, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I, I, um, I produce solely with them and now yes. Barrio and uh, I'm, uh, I'm so happy about the, the song because uh, from, uh, is, um, I'm, um, I'm building my own style, you know, mm -hmm. uh, also thanks to Dardust and, uh, and Charlie Charles. I'm uh, already producing new songs with them mm -hmm. too and, uh, and I'm so happy about, because I, I was a little bit scared, no? Uh, with Barrio because after Sol, you know, a big hit. Uh, you don't uh, know how you're gonna follow it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe after Sol, <laughs> it's <laughs> everything is finished, you know. But no, uh, in reality, I had a, a big, uh, great reaction with Barrio, you know. Yes. Also, when I perform live, I, I see people um, really happy and participated now uh, with uh, with these songs. I'm so be looking forward because I've never heard you sing that one live yet so no? yeah so I'm very looking forward to hearing that you sing that tonight yeah yeah sure yeah, yeah. all right then um, right now you're in London and obviously you're just beginning with the Europa Good Vibes tour and you've mm -hmm. got and you actually got two sold out shows here in London and you've also got sold out shows all over Europe yeah. so I was just wondering how is it going for you are you expecting that even London would sold out like no no because um one of my biggest dreams was to perform in London, you know, because yeah. uh, uh, a lot of my favorite arti artists um, uh, were born here. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I was uh, a little bit scared too, you now to, to say what, what London people um, will we, we'll see me you now, you know. But yeah. uh, yesterday uh, was a, a, a literally a big surprise because uh, the reaction was insane you now. Uh, and I hope that tonight will be the same. Oh, well, you've sold out the venue, so I'm pretty sure you're gonna, <laughs> yeah. and, and most of the Eurovision fans that I've known of are coming tonight, so yeah. you're, you're going you're gonna to have a lot of clapping. Wow. wow. <laughs> All 
All right, then before you've actually come to London, you've actually performed in the European Parliament as well. Mm-hmm. I was wondering, how did that process come about and what was the experience like? Because we rarely see Eurovision artists to perform in such a big platform. Uh, was uh, a little bit different uh, from the other performance, you know, in the Parliament because uh, um, uh, the public was different. Yes. Know? So, but but was uh, was good. Was um, was a nice uh, night there because uh, uh, seeing uh, a lot of politician, important politician, yes. dancing now uh, uh, while I was singing was um, was at the beginning a little bit strange, <laughs> but then uh, no, no, it was a pleasure. It was really a pleasure to perform there. All right, then. and one final thing. Mm-hmm. Um, now that you said you're looking to the future and obviously you've already released one single, what can we expect from Mahmoud post Eurovision? Post Eurovision? Yeah, so what can we expect from you? You've already released one single. What other um, material have you got for us? Would you be collaborating with other artists as well? Or is there any artists you'd want sure, to collaborate with? Sure, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm collaborating uh, with... with um, some Italian artists, uh, really good and really young too. Uh, but uh, I'm uh, also trying to to find the right uh, international featuring, you know, because yes. for me it's important to contaminate music, contaminate uh, yes. uh, kind of music. Um, and I'm working on my new album too. So yes, now that you've said that, because you've said that um, now that your international fan base is starting to increase, do you think you're gonna um, produce some material in English because obviously, I mean, I know you've mainly catered for the Italian market, mm-hmm. but to obviously your international fan base growing, uh, growing do you think you're going to do something for them? I, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it, but um, because um, my, my the big part of my career started this year, no? So it's, yes, I, I made only one album. Juventus Bruciata is my first solo album, so mm-hmm. uh, for me, uh, is uh, everything is began this year also with my Italian album. So maybe yes. I have to um, uh, going on producing Italian music for um, this this a, a little bit of time, you know. But um, I'm, I'm thinking uh, uh, about it to also create something in English or in Spanish, you know. Because uh, I, I like to sing in English and Spanish. Yeah, because I was going to say, I mean, ever since you performed Soldi, those markets have basically embraced you really well. Right? Yeah. And hopefully we're looking forward to hearing more material from you. Now to finish this things off, um, is there anything that you want to say um, to your fans watching us right now over at ECX? Um, hi, all ES. See extra <laughs> listeners. <laughs> I'm Mahmoud, and uh, I want to thank everybody for all of your support. And uh, I hope to um, uh, see you on my show. Right. It was a pleasure talking to you, Mahmoud, and <laughs> looking forward to seeing you tonight. <laughs>